Psalm 19 speaks about God's wonderful creation having a voice. Creation has its own speech. Creation is communicating knowledge. Creation is proclaiming a message. And the sound of its voice is going throughout the whole earth for all to hear. In contrast, Psalm 19 also states, the message of creation has no voice, no words, and no intelligible sound. What does this mean? When we get around God's creation and take the time to enjoy a sunset, or put our feet on green grass, or acknowledge the beauty of mountains, or the wonder of animals, or appreciate the blue ocean, or take a moment to gaze at the stars and the moon. When we do these things, something happens. We experience God's glory. Oftentimes there will be no understanding. There will be no words, no communication, no intelligible sound. Yet our spirits will receive a revelation of God's glory in nature. When you take a moment to look at a flower, or study the grain of sands at the beach, or in the desert, you don't necessarily have to think a thought or hear any words. Even though there is no intelligible communication, you are still experiencing God pouring himself into your spirit. When this happens, you have experienced God's glory simply because you took the time to connect with nature. There may be no thoughts to remember, there may be no message to ponder, and there may be no intelligible communication. Like the dream you had, there's nothing to remember, but you still feel great. You come away feeling wonderful and elated because you have experienced God's glory in a tangible way. Look around the heavens, look around the earth, Let your eyes drink in the glory of God's creation. He wants to bless you. He wants to give you yet another download of his nature and glory.